So straight to the point guys. So how to decide a programming language? So now we are nearing 2024 and 2025 is gonna come. So how to do that? So let me just show you some stats and choosing the best programming language for your preparation for the upcoming year. Okay. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of website in which you can see the survey of how much a programming language has been used in the last year. That means the current year, right? So now uh, there's two website. I am shared the link in the description box of this video. The first one is GitHub. So GitHub is a place where people used to upload their codes and uh, create repositories and share it with their colleagues and uh, friends, right? So GitHub is like a social media for coding. And, and the second site is Stack Overflow, where people used to ask a lot about the questions and answers. It's like a Q&A website, right? So these two companies have data. So with this data, every year they used to release a survey of top programming languages, top skill set, top demanding technology, something like that. So first, let's talk uh, with the stats always. So just let me show you that. Okay. So first, let me show you uh, Stack Overflow. So if you come to Stack Overflow, right? So this is 2024 developer survey, you can able to see there. And now I'm just going to uh, drill down to the top programming languages used. So I'll just click professional developers. And you can see JavaScript is first, SQL is second, and HTML, CSS is third, Python, and then TypeScript, uh, Shell, Java. It, these are all some top of top five programming languages. So whereas if you see uh, SQL, so SQL is a, a default uh, database language that you should know as parallel of any programming language that you learn. See SQL is must for a software engineer or a data scientist or a front end developer or a full stack developer, right? So you should learn SQL. So SQL is very easy guys. So just you can spend five days of uh, time, daily two hours, you can complete SQL. So database language is must important. So pick any programming language based on the stats we're going to discuss, but SQL is going to be the parallel one that you should know. So before you choose a language, you need to know whether you're going to get into backend or front end. So that is very much important guys. So if you take Python, it can able to uh, develop uh, by using Python, you can able to develop front end web, web application, mobile application, and then even you can do data science, data engineering, you can code in data science and data engineering, right? So it supports both front end and backend, but then it, it gives more support for the backend services. And similarly, if you take JavaScript, it gives full support for the front end, even though it's uh, serves some service uh, with respect to backend API calls or API service, but still JavaScript gives more functionality towards the front end. So decide this first. So if you take backend, there are certain languages you have to give a preference. And if you take front end, there are certain languages. Okay. Uh, I'll conclude that after showing one more stats. So this is something uh, from Stack Overflow. Now let me just show you in GitHub. So GitHub also every year they release a survey called October 2024 or October 2023, something like that. So here they have some leading programming languages, which says Python is first, JavaScript is second, TypeScript and Java. So these are all the top four, top five programming languages. And the Python is always stay top in both the uh, uh, stats which I showed and even JavaScript. And here you don't see SQL and that doesn't mean that is not important. SQL, generally in GitHub people won't create SQL repositories much. So that's the reason they haven't included it. But SQL is a uh, most important thing that you have to do. So apart from this, right, uh, there is one more thing that we have to consider for choosing a programming language. See, when you choose a programming language, you need to know what are all the use cases can be solved or this programming language, what I'm learning can be used in across what technologies, across what framework. So this also we need to know. So now, Imagine the fresher, the first priority is for you to get a job. Now imagine you are learning Python for data science. Just let, let me put it in this way. Now you are learning Python for data science, but unfortunately you are not getting a job in data science, but then you are getting it in front end. Imagine. So now you have to uh, choose a language which supports this scenario as well. So I have learned Python, but now it's waste. No, it should not be that way. Even it is not like useful for you in data science because you didn't get a job in data science, but make sure that is used in web development at least. All right. So now we have to choose such language. So learning one language is what we, our agenda is. So for example, you learn Python and then you get job in full stack development where they use uh, JavaScript or uh, there is a project where they use Java. So now you know Python, but then with that language, you can compare and learn other language. That is very easy because you know English and with that you can learn Hindi or Tamil, whatever language, right? So first we need to know one language, right? So if you see, right, Python is used in web development, data science, big data, web scrapping, DevOps, GUI, IoT. It, it has more, more use cases, even trending, uh, leading text technologies and framework supports Python. And Java also web development, Android, big data. So if you see Java and Python, both is being used in big data. And then JavaScript, 
you take front and back and full stack mobile app game and iot so something like that you have to check before you start learning any coding right first you have to decide front end or back end once you have decided it even in back end you have multiple frameworks and even in front end you have multiple frameworks so make sure your language supports more than one use cases so that in worst case if this use case what you have been planned you didn't get that is fine but then you still make use of your learning of uh, the code what you have already learned you should you can use it somewhere right so these are all the things that i wanted to tell you and the last but not least see uh, generally i used to hear when people start learning python some people will ask them to or suggest them to learn c++ first so don't do it because c++ is a mother language and that is not the only eligibility or a reason to start c++ first and then learn python no don't do that if you want to learn c++ do it c++ has a certain use cases if you want to get into that job you can do it but don't give a reason of for learning python i need to learn c++ that is not a best idea or a reason see every language has a mother language scala is a mother, scala's mother language is java and when you want to learn scala i cannot ask you to learn java first right every language has a mother language including c++ has a mother language so the top languages that i used to prefer you to learn is python javascript java and then like sql it's always in the top leading so if you are front end go for javascript back end then obviously go for python and that's it so that's all guys it is so simple and uh, i am there to teach you like this so please do follow me and subscribe my youtube channel and my instagram page is the data tech dot in thank you so much guys